question for you. Have you ever started a health and fitness journey, whether it's to lose weight or tone up or get strong or just get healthier? And whether you bought a program or went on Pinterest to find some advice, because we all know in the internet is where it's at, and you just started to diet and do cardio. That was the basis of your plan, was dieting and cardio. How was that for you? Ask yourself, did that last? Did you see results? Did the results last? Did you enjoy yourself? I'm, I'm kind of curious because I'm gonna admit, I, I was that girl who went on diets and did cardio all the time because I thought that would make me leaner and healthier and fitter and just so much better and that was the answer to having a strong body. And let me tell you this, that is not right at all. If you don't know me, my name is Steph, otherwise known as ExoGingy, and I help women ditch dieting, train hard, and love their bodies. So today I wanna to talk about the two biggest mistakes that women make when starting any kind of fitness journey, no matter what your goal is, to lose weight, to put on muscle, whatever it is, the two biggest mistakes women make, they start a diet and they start doing cardio. That is their focus. Now let me tell you why each of these is wrong and is, should not be focused on. Dieting. No matter what kind of diet you're on or whatever, you are either restricting calories, probably more than you should be, you're removing food groups or food from your diet, and that creates a calorie deficit, which is okay in a small amount if you're trying to lose weight. But most people go to extremes and keep cutting calories and calories and calories until you literally have nothing left to cut and your body stops responding. You stop losing weight, you plateau, you might even gain weight. So dieting also causes this kind of like weird relationship with food because you may be like, I shouldn't eat carbs, I shouldn't eat bread, you might have good and bad lists. And it causes this really, really, really weird relationship with food and it causes you to feel guilty when you eat certain foods that are okay to eat. And dieting should not be the answer to weight loss or to a certain body physique. You should want to eat the most amount of calories that your body can while sustaining a healthy physique, okay? So when you're extremely dieting, sure, you're gonna see results in a couple weeks, in a month, but that is not sustainable because you're probably gonna go crazy, you're gonna be cranky, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be irritable, and you're gonna miss all these foods that you enjoy. You can be healthy and fit and have a body that you love while eating all foods, okay? It's about balance, it's about intuitive eating, it's about flexible dieting. All of this stuff can be done, okay? Now let's talk about cardio. People think cardio is the answer to losing weight and being lean and all this kind of stuff. Cardio should be used as a tool in your fitness journey. It should not be the main thing you focus on. Because when you focus on cardio, plus you're probably dieting, you are depleting muscle mass. And that's the last thing you want to do is lose muscle mass. You want to keep as much muscle as possible, if not while building it, because the more muscle you have, the less fat you have. So your workouts should be based on strength training, limited cardio. Sure, you can do two to three times a hit cardio, you know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, here and there, you know, high incline walk, whatever you wanna do, but your workout of the day should not be two hours of running on the treadmill because you're literally just wasting down muscle mass and you want muscle mass, especially because most women think that cardio is gonna get them as strong and defined and lean, have those lines and whatever, but it's not gonna do that. It's gonna make you skinny fat, and even though I hate that term, that's kind of what it's gonna do. You're bigger just doing cardio than if you did strength training, you're gonna look leaner because you're shaping your body in different, in different places and you're gonna have a really beautiful proportionate body. So strength training is number one opposed to cardio, okay? So the two biggest mistakes I see women do is just suffer through diets and suffer through cardio and that's not something you should be doing. You need to realize that food is delicious, food is fuel, food, food is amazing and you should not be depriving yourself of any foods or food groups 
And cardio is there, it can be used as a tool, but your main focus should be lifting weights in the gym. Now if you are totally lost and you're like cardio bunny girl because you have no idea what to do in the gym, I totally get it because most women don't. If you're not educated in what to do in the gym, you don't know what to do in the gym. I don't blame you, you just haven't experienced that yet. So that is why I'm currently running a 12 week guide to the gym. I'm gonna take you through all the exercises. I have videos for all the exercises. I have your exact workout so you can go into the gym knowing exactly what to do and going in with confidence to rock your workout and then walk out and be like, wow, that was amazing. That was so much better than doing two hours of cardio, right? And you're gonna see your body sculpt in an amazing, beautiful way. And when you're weightlifting, you're not dieting, girlfriend, because you need those calories, you need that food to build muscle and have energy in the gym to perform. And a lot of people get scared because they think food is gonna make me fat and all this stuff, but if you're training, if you're strength training, you're training hard, and you're eating balanced, that's not gonna happen. It's really not gonna happen. So the diet, goodbye. Cardio all day, every day, goodbye. Say hello to a balanced diet and strength training and I promise you, you will feel so much better, you will be amazed by what you can do in the gym and you will love your body so much more, not just for what it looks like, but for what it can do. Okay guys, so two biggest mistakes, I want you to throw out the door right now, say goodbye, saranara. no one needs to diet, no one needs to do cardio all day, every day you need to strength train. So if you are interested in more information, links below to my program and even my free Facebook page where I provide a lot of free content to help you guys out. So that's what I have to share with you today. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and what more you want me to talk about on YouTube. I will see you in the next video.